is the painting La Gioconda more usually known as uh, La Gioconda the painting La Gioconda La Gioconda uh, what's it more G what is La the Gio La Gioconda yeah what do, what do most people know this painting I I'm going to say it sounds Italian so the Mona Lisa bingo you're right you're right <laughs> <laughs> this was uh news to me i did not know i didn't know that it either yeah, that the Mona Lisa was not actually called the Mona Lisa. For all you art heads out there, yep. um, I when I went to the Louvre uh, in Paris to see the Mona Lisa, it was like my last week, and I was like, you know what, I should probably do this. And I got there like right as the Louvre opened. It was like eight a.m. and people were like sprinting through the museum to see it. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's <laughs> like I, she's yeah, gonna it's be nuts. there. I know, and it's, it's funny because so it's so weird. tiny as well. It's so tiny. Yeah. And there's it's just a room full of people trying to take like selfies with it. Right. Didn't someone like hit it with a cake a few weeks ago or something? something? Like that, Some yeah. French guy. <laughs> Those French are always protesting yeah. something. Exactly. Um Jeff, how 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 you doing? I'm doing all right, How's Carson it? Runquist. How about you? Yeah. You I'm you doing had a good. nice trip. I had a fine trip. Yeah, I'm in Minnesota. I went to my cabin. It was a good time. Um, I was going to ask, we don't usually get into the news, specifically politics news, but I can't, I, it's, it's on the mind that Trump got raided. Yeah. Um, Mar-a-Lago. Which is, yeah, kind of not near you, but yeah. like same state. Uh, yeah. And, I've uh, been to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> you have? <laughs> yeah. I, How I was said, it? I remember I told you this probably a really long time ago. I think ago you did. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we ate lunch there with my uncle. Um, uh huh. And my brother got a cake, and it had this chocolate, like, like diamond-shaped thing that said Trump on it. Whoa. Um, and this was, like, years before he ran for president. But my mm -hmm. brother uh, bit the tea off it so it said rump and then left it there. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's Also, that's a... the cake was really way too rich. Okay. So, like, it was impossible that's... to eat. going to ask how the cake was. Yeah, that's... It was bad. You know who's way too rich? Donald Trump. Yeah. Right? Um yeah uh anyway that's <laughs> good one <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna come running for me the all the writers rooms uh yep. for all the topical trump jokes um yeah anyway that that just happened yeah like, 10 minutes was, ago yeah well the raid the news broke recently the raid didn't happen right. 10 minutes ago like, yeah, that would yeah, be yeah crazy that you That'd somehow be... had the news before everyone yeah. else <laughs> <laughs> i'm like guys yeah, something just me. happened uh it's big my, my sources are telling me <laughs> unlike nbc they're like we're hearing it here first from the cars cast movie cast that Trump Trump has been a live raided. podcast i don't know how they knew so early they released it yeah. the next day <laughs> but um uh, yeah yeah my day today was mm -hmm. interesting well, I know part of it. Is there is there more to it, or should we just hop right into it? No, it was what you were thinking. It was what I told <laughs> okay. you. Uh, so the movie this week, as is... the title may have suggested of this podcast, uh -huh. is Moana. No, I'm just kidding. It's Bullet Train. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh, I gotta I went to the my notes, and they weren't showing it. <laughs> they said, this movie is years old. And you're like, what year is it? <laughs> Um, Anyways, Bullet Train. Uh, I thought, hey, I won't see it Sunday. It's going to be packed. It's opening weekend. I'll see yep. it Monday in the middle of the day because I don't currently yep. have a job besides mm -hmm. being on the Cars Cast movie cast, which yep. Yep. does not pay enough to be a full time job. Uh, at least not <laughs> me. Make that I don't very know clear. <laughs> no. It, well, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm pulling in about 45K a year. Right. I'm like, I'm I don't. Like, what? This isn't doing it? Yeah. Um, but anyways, um, I picked a three o'clock showing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and here's the the thing, right? I was correct that there was no one there. There was like twelve people in the whole theater. Yeah. Uh, so good job, Jeff. Like great, great time slot picking. Um, I watched the movie. Uh, it's Bullet Train. You know, as we'll talk yes. about. 
There gets to be about 20, 20 minutes left or so. Uh, the power goes out in the theater. <laughs> Just shuts off. Everything shuts off. The most uh, important part of the movie. Yeah, Let's like it, it was literally when the the little like uh, lower third comes up that says Kyoto. <laughs> I'm not joking. It was literally said Kyoto and then power out. Which is like the beginning of the climax of the film. That is so bad. Yeah. That is so bad. So everyone, then the lights, like, or everything's off for like yes. 15 seconds. Then like the, mm-hmm. the side dimmer lights come on and everyone's like looking around like, what? You're like, and that's then, a weird way to end the movie. Yeah. They're like, wow, that's a bold <laughs> choice. <That's> a <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But then we just hear tons of thunder outside because this is like near tampa florida which is yeah like the lightning capital of the world essentially right um so it's a really bad storm and we're like oh like the power totally just went out so then someone from the theater comes in and they're like hey we don't know when it's going to come back (laughs) so everyone sits there power comes back on briefly back off they come back in again they're like yeah you can just get a refund and come back a different time or you can wait so I'm like, well, I have to do this podcast. Yeah. So I'm going to wait. I wait for 30 minutes. Oh, my Nothing God. Nothing happens. They come back in about 40 minutes later. And they're like, yeah, you, everyone just has to leave. Like, we can't get the power back on. <laughs> Dude, that is awful. Yeah. How many others, like, waited with you? None. Like, was it? No, okay. No one. I was the only one in there. It was, it was me and my parents. <laughs> they're like, they walk away. They're like, okay, everyone. Yeah, you they're like, three, everyone. Uh, <laughs> you people crazy enough to wait for this. But, like, yeah. at the same time, you want to see how this movie ends. Especially, you know? It would be one thing if it happened, like, 20 minutes in, I would have just left right, right away. Exactly. Uh, but, but 20 minutes left, or, you know. That is bad. No, it was, it was the worst. Uh, so then... I still had this podcast to do, so I'm like, I got to yeah. see Bullet Train. <laughs> so the only possible way to see the last 20 minutes were to look up in a legal feed of someone uh-huh. videotaping Bullet Train, you know, yeah. with a camera and posting online where with link to, like, Bangladeshi betting sites. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's how I had to watch it. And it was and actually legal subtitled. Reasons. Yeah. For legal reasons, that, that, hypothetically, I did that. Yeah. You did not actually do this. No, uh, I did for pay for Bullet Train today. Yes, you did. You supported the film. I supported the film. Uh, yeah. So, it, but you finish. You know how it ends. Like you actually I do did watch because the I did okay. watch the ending hypothetically. Maybe that's. <laughs> yeah. Man, that is insane. But it was the the I watched it, and the problem was that I had flashbacks to when I was in France and mm-hmm. I was watching Dune and they had they were speaking <laughs> alien language and then subtitled it in French. Yeah. There was a part of this film at the end where they speak Japanese. Right, right. And it was subtitled on the stream I was watching. Yeah. In Spanish. Oh, no. <laughs> so I was like, no. Like, I knew oh my a God, lot of the wait. individual words. There, There is a, a crucial twist near the end. Uh, that's spoken in Russian that I think you must not have understood. Uh, and I, um, I want to add. <laughs> I, no, I cause... did. I think I understood it in the end. Okay. Because okay. I knew just enough Spanish to like get the gist of what oh, they were saying. I'm now realizing the, the Spanish word for this is probably pretty easy to yeah. understand. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's so funny <laughs> that's, so, that's really unfortunate damn yeah um but you you have watched it yeah I, I, it is occurring to me though that um <laughs> i just realized that i was really confused because i caught i thought they kept saying talking about a female cousin and then i just realized that i just forgot the word for daughter in spanish and thought it was cousin <laughs> so it's making more sense now i was like why do they keep saying cousin <laughs> But it was daughter. They were saying daughter. His daughter. Makes yeah, yeah, more yeah. Sense makes more sense for the makes more sense. Um. Well, Jeff has seen the movie. I've seen, I've the, seen movie. the movie. We're gonna talk about it now. Uh, the synopsis to this film reads: Ladybug is an unlucky assassin who's determined to do his job peacefully after one too many gigs has gone off the rails. Get it? 
Because uh, it's a train? Because it's a train. Yeah. Fate, however, may have other plans as his latest mission puts him on a collision course with lethal adversaries from around the globe, all with connected yet conflicting objectives on the world's fastest train. Um, and it's uh, directed by David Leach, not to be confused with David Lynch. It looks very similar <laughs> in writing. Um, you think that's how we got the job? <laughs> yeah. They're <laughs> like, oh my god, Lynch is directing this. Uh <laughs> And it stars. This is this is really well. It stars um, Brad Pitt, Joey King, Aaron Taylor Johnson, um, and it says Bad Bunny, but under on this it says Bad Bunny plays Bad Bunny, which is not the case. Not Bad Bunny true. does not play himself. That would be interesting. The wolf. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just think it's funny they gave up. <laughs> yeah, and we're like, and Bad Bunny as himself. Yeah, and uh, a bunch of cameos too, which I don't know if we'll spoil that but yeah we don't need to more not cameos than gained. you'd expect no i was surprised at the cameos I, yep. I i felt like they got me i was like yep. oh did not know he was gonna be in this um anyway it is a uh, it's it's only in theaters 2022 film and it's doing it's, it's only right. in theaters legally <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah it almost only in theaters to an extent uh, yeah, to an extent but... where I definitely pay for it, I really tried my best. Yes, absolutely. Um, now, let's talk about it. Jeff, what did you think of the movie? Um, so, this is a movie where it's great that it's only in theaters because this is the most movie theater movie imaginable. Absolutely. It's, yeah. like, everything's big and fast and mm-hmm. loud and, like, Stuff yeah. flying around, tons of special effects. Brad Pitt. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's. I mean, I'm glad that there's been like a a lot of movies this summer, like big blockbuster movies that yeah. I don't think would at all hit at home. And this is one of them where I'm like, I think this would not be nearly as fun if it were at home. And I can actually tell you from watching part of it at home <laughs> is not at all. No, now, yeah, part it's of not that as may good. have been the Bangladeshi ads for slot yeah. machines right and the fact that i had to restart it every five minutes yeah yeah but it but... definitely was better in theater <laughs> for the most part yeah <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah it's it's like a, a good old school kind of not i don't want to say old school but like action comedy and very movie. stylized like very stylized you honestly could have told me edgar wright directed this and i would have been like i can see it yeah there's been a lot of like Edgar Wright comparisons, a lot of Guy Ritchie comparisons. And yeah. I haven't seen one Guy Ritchie movie, but people. Are I've like, only seen one Guy Ritchie movie Guy Ritchie. too, but that's which Guy Ritchie movie that. was it? Which one did you see? I saw The Gentleman. Uh, I didn't see that one. Which one did yeah, I see? All right. What are the other ones? <laughs> uh, that's the thing. I don't. I'm not really informed on his. Uh, he's got Snatch. Wrath oh, I saw of Snatch. Man. You saw Snatch. I okay. own Snatch on the PSP whoa it was uh because <laughs> you could buy movies for the psp with those little discs in like the plastic yeah, yeah. tray that you would slide in. i had snatch mm-hmm. so this movie's basically snatch is what we're saying and i also saw um, lock stock and two smoking barrels okay yeah um, am i and sherlock holmes big guy richie fan yeah am <laughs> i a big guy richie fan do i love guy um, richie <laughs> This I should also mention this movie is based on a book. Um, it's by wait Bullet Train Book. I want to get this right. Um, by Kataro Isaka, and yeah, I, I it's I don't know how well this was translated as a book. I think it would be kind of fun, but I'm like it really does. If I read the book first, I'd be like this should be a movie, and, right? It's about know, a bullet train. Good move, Hollywood. like a book um, can take place anywhere. And it doesn't matter because it's just words. <laughs> yeah. But when you actually yeah. have to make something, the fact that it's like all one location on a fast train makes yeah. more sense, I think. A book, you could right. be like, hey, they're in a train. Now they're yeah. on the moon. Exa- yeah. Anyone who likes literature uh, hates me right now for what I just said, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's a book. It's easy. You could write anything. I could write a book. Yeah. Karsten and There's Jeff a cat did a podcast in a hat. on Mars. Yeah. Can I just say... This is a bit of a tangent, but this last weekend, because it's vacation, I have gotten really into audiobooks because I'm like, 
I never was into them before, but I'm like, yeah. they're basically just podcasts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you but can like just really long. They're real. It takes like 15 hours to get through them, but I've gone through like one and a half so far, and they are my new favorite thing. It yeah. makes me feel like I'm reading some books That's without the thing. It does. actually reading I, a book. <laughs> I would listen to them when I would drive from Chicago to Florida. It's like 20 That's, hours. Yeah, they're great for road trips. Yeah. And uh, I'm currently halfway through normal people. I'm sure it's it's interesting. Anyway, bullet train. Um, yeah, this is a. Uh, I don't know. I liked this movie. I, I, I did had a too. lot of fun. I didn't yeah. love it, but it, for what it is, it's a good time. Mm-hmm. It is a very good time. I I'm mixed because I think it is very like fun and like action packed flashy and cut like yeah. it's amazing how interesting the movie is for just taking place on a train yeah and like how many twi- i love like i don't know the way all the characters come together because i'm like it really does start off where everyone's in their own little world and you kind of like slowly learn I, like i love movies the, all like the that. inner the interweaving things like it, it yeah. reminded me of knives out a bit in that sense exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um and i th- i think like brad pitt's character or maybe it's just his performance like very fun yeah like, I, I love brad i pitt really think brad pitt carries this film he carries the film 100 <laughs> percent. like this is a movie for brad pitt like other yeah. performances are good but brad pitt they're is all good the, the point of the film it's just to follow brad pitt being like yeah. funny i think well that's the thing is like i i'm not gonna blame the actors too much because i think all the actors like bring it as much as they can um I did not like the humor in the movie that much. It was not my sense of humor. Mm-hmm. And that's maybe just me, but that's like kind of my core issue with the movie is that I'm like, the humor is such an integral part of this movie. <laughs> like it is nothing but jokes. And it kind of, when I'm getting like really invested in one of the action sequences, it like cuts away and they're talking about Thomas, the tank engine. And I'm like, I don't, I want to see yeah. the fight. <laughs> like, I don't know, but that's that was the big thing that held yeah. us back from no, I, being something really I great for me. I tend to agree with you is yeah. that I, I didn't think the humor was necessarily um, distractingly bad, but it wasn't. Mm-hmm. It was just so generic and like I could pass on it. It didn't right. add anything to it. You know, well, you know what yeah. I would have liked mm-hmm. is for them to go all in on just referencing trains because they already went Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> yeah, I think the whole yeah. soundtrack should have been the band Train. Right. Like Hey Soul right. Sister and hey Soul Drops Sister. of Jupiter. <laughs> Honest, it's the kind of movie that could get away with Hey Soul Sister playing with yeah. like a crazy action scene. And it would be kind of funny. <laughs> but, yeah. If they did that but like didn't acknowledge it's the band train and the audience member has to be like, oh, yeah. because the band is train. <laughs> that exactly. would be so the, funny. The, <laughs> honestly, the major issue I have with this film, it's not – like I get it that it's kind of on purpose – but there's mm-hmm. nothing for the audience to figure out in this film. Yeah. They tell you every piece of information you could possibly need. And they, they show even it. They tie, uh, like, and this happens very early on, so it's not a spoiler. But mm-hmm. they even tie, like, a bow around a certain gun so that you yep. know what it is. You know which gun it, it is, like yeah. You, you don't have to think at all in this film, which is, you know, the classic blockbuster style. Yeah. Well, that's, that. I agree. That, it, it gets... And it, like, sacrifices the momentum of the movie for that. Like, I, I made a video on this that isn't out yet. But um, I mentioned the fact that there's this one shot of the two brothers in Bolivia doing some crime. They show that shot, like, five separate times yeah. just to be like, because they were there. And they, like, need to show you that shot yeah. for the audience to make the connection. And I don't think they think the audience is dumb and they need to like spoon feed everything to us. I think it's like trying to add this like f- cut, cut away, like flashback thing to like mm-hmm. make the movie feel more chaotic and fast paced and whatever. But I'm like, it definitely gets tedious after a while. <laughs> I'm like, Oh my God, I get it. Like they were in Bolivia. Yeah. Um, I had, okay. Uh, I loved how stylized the film was. Me too. Yeah. Like, that, like the that titles was, of yeah. all the characters, yeah, that and, stuff was amazing. And just the ridiculous, <laughs> over the top, like Japan themed lighting, you know, mm-hmm. that we're going for this like crazy, like neon Tokyo vibe. Yeah, yeah, that was. I fun. think like 
all the fight scenes too. The, it has like a lot of cinematography that I feel like matches like yeah. a lot of kung fu style films. Yeah, and the one just, shot like, they start upside acting. down, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it like it looks amazing. The the yeah. cinematography is fantastic. Now the CGI uh, <laughs> yeah, wasn't the of... best. No. Well, so this is why it's funny you watched the the last bit of this movie. Yeah. Like it was even... blurry for me. Yeah. The way I watched it, but I could tell even even th- in like 480p it didn't look that convincing. I think that might even be better than watching that in like 4K yeah. or however <laughs> like it like seeing it on the big screen I was like, "Oh god, this is yeah. it is really rushed CGI." Like, yeah, like, this end. CGI looks like it could have been in pilots. <laughs> there's that mike brunley been here um mike brunley famous actor from dirtbag and from, pilots yeah yeah <laughs> i don't know why haven't we gotten him on the podcast yet we should that's really... a great question we gotta get because i brunley know he podcast. would say yes oh yeah maybe when i when dirtbag rolls out and doing a... yes absolutely oh <laughs> crazy uh, uh so you know that jeff goldblum master class master class yeah, yeah yeah thing i i did a while back uh-huh um, one of the, the like kind of extras, like class members from that uh-huh. was in the last episode of the rehearsal, like the most recent one. Was it the kid? It, no, it, it was, um, one of the, the acting students, for, the acting, oh. you know, it was one of the acting students for the rehearsal of the acting students. <laughs> Dude. Wait, yeah. Quick rehearsal update. Cause, uh, yeah. it, that last episode is insane (laughs) this is the craziest show i've ever seen it's It's so unbelievable it's an amazing show i Um, was so disappointed when they you know we announced he was done with nathan for you i'm like i don't know what he can really do next that's gonna capture that magic and somehow he's done it he's topped it that's it i agree i was like nathan for you is so perfect and like this is just blows it out of water further it's (laughs) crazy I I will like to, I I'm kind of curious because it's not confirmed that it's a season one only thing. Yeah. Like I wonder if it will drift into see. There's like no press for he hasn't done like any interviews. I'm just so fascinated it, by this show as just a cultural, um, <laughs> you know, touchstone. It's just yeah. something that exists in our universe. It's just crazy to me. It's so awesome what that we're watching it, it yeah. in real time. Yeah. <laughs> just the, the artistic, uh, it, it really pushes boundaries that I've never seen something on TV do before. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, of course, we're talking about Bullet Train. Yeah, we're talking um, about Bullet Train. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got to do, like, a, a rehearsal update every week. Well, absolutely. Because, yeah, we do re- we record every week, so. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's just phenomenal. maybe not though. Maybe a bunch of people don't watch it, and then it would just make no sense to them. If you guys aren't watching it at this point, you, you have I, to. It's... The thing is, I I can fully recommend the show to like anybody. Yeah, like it's just. Do your parents? Did your parents like it? I I think I asked. Uh, this. My dad likes it. My mom, mom didn't. is like. Will okay. watch it, but I don't think gotcha. she enjoys it. Okay, I think I'm gonna show it to mine tonight and. We'll report back next week. That'd be uh, interesting. Anyways, <laughs> Bullet Train. We're talking about Bullet Train, Bullet Train this week. Um, the thing about this movie is like, yeah, it's it's, I don't know, because you can I can go far and say like it's just not my sense of humor, but yeah. like I can see it being someone's sense of humor and them getting a kick out of it. But I also think that the humor just like gets in the way from this being a better film than it is, and kind of like you said, it just feels tedious after a while, and that's I, enough to yeah get in the way for me you know? i kind of felt that way about everything everywhere all at once yes that's actually a great point <laughs> uh where i just thought if the the humor was a little bit different i would have enjoyed it more i still enjoyed mm-hmm. that a lot that's still one of my you know top films yeah. of the year but i just think that some of the i don't know because the thing is i know it's the daniel's whole bit is like this weird humor yeah but it just makes the film more niche i think yeah, it yeah, totally. Which it, you know is, I think, partly their goal. Where mm-hmm. with Bullet Train, that's absolutely not the intent. The intent of this was to make every single person like it. Yeah, it's the most. Yeah, it's attempting to be like the most broadly appealing movie possible. Totally, the classic blockbuster, like the Mummy. It's, 
Yeah. It's for everyone, supposedly. There's like this this style of action movie that I think is more popular now, and it's I mean David Leach directed the second Deadpool movie, and I feel like they that can be applied to those movies. There's like the Kingsman films and yep. like Snarky Guy Ritchie protagonist. Yeah, just like very smug and like absurd. Like obviously you kind of throw logic out the window when you watch this movie you're like of course the passengers on the train would know this is happening yeah that's like no one you don't really care about stuff like that when you watch this but it's also like the kind of movie that acknowledges that at the same time and it has this weird like middle ground where it's like so absurd but so self-aware at the same time that you're like i don't know Mm -hmm. what the read on this is and i know a lot of people love that because it's like it's just pure fun. Like the whole point of that is to just be like fun. But I don't know. To me, it gets like it. That is a style of humor that can only go so far for me. Um, it doesn't really like surprise you or like impress you. But like the, the stuff that really blew me away here was like the cinematography, the choreography of like the action. Yeah. Just Brad the, Pitt. the lighting. <laughs> yeah. Like um, the, from a technical level, this besides the CGI. Uh, yeah <laughs> this film is is great from a technical it's, yeah. perspective um yeah. i also just love a lot of like the flat space shots of mm-hmm. i don't know it, it was uh yeah just uh you say something carson uh as far as train movies go because there's two other train movies that come to mind that also take place in asia and it's train to busan actually i don't know if snowpiercer takes and, place in and asia. uh 310 to yuma I've never seen that. I haven't either. No. That's a train okay. movie, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Is that the name? Is that the correct time? Three or ten it three to three to Yuma. It's is it? 12? Yeah, it is. It's three ten. It's three ten. Starring. Oh, it is three ten. Is that Jane? Oh no, it's Christian Bale. Russell Crowe. Interesting. I've never seen this movie. It actually looks kind of. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's a western. A yeah, it's about yeah. a train. I mean, I love train movies. So uh, <laughs> yeah. There you go. I think if you this, like train movies, this is one that we've not seen, but it exists. I think you brought up a, a fun point, which is like, I do wish this had more to do with the train than it yeah. actually does. Like, I wish they were they referenced the fact they're on a train a little bit more. Like, besides just Thomas the Tank Engine and the quiet car scene, which was funny, but... What I do you know. mean by that? Like, I wish they used the limitations of being on a train... A bit like I don't think it really. I guess they sort of did like the whole yeah. premise is they're all stuck on the train and together. Then, but I'm like, like the, you know, at the certain stops, they only have like one minute. That okay, off. you're right. Yeah. Like I feel like they. I used guess it, it went as far as it could. So, yeah, yeah, I just was wondering what else you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know what? Scratch that point. <laughs> I'm, I'll admit, scratch that point. Um, I'm yeah. Like, did you want them to like? Like blow a, like what a did train. You want? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more choo choos. Not enough choo choos. They had the guy trying to take the tickets. That's classic. Yeah, train yeah, yeah. There. Polar Express. That's a train movie. That's classic. Yeah. Did you ever see the Polar Express? No. Jeff? It's disturbing. Um. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. What else do, is there to say about this film? I don't know. I I guess I want to talk about the the one cameo I liked. Do you want to? Um, okay. Do you want to do a quick spoiler section? Sure. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. If quick. you want to skip the spoilers, go to the Q and A. Um, in the time it, it, we have it. In the time the, stamps. The time stamps. Yeah. Channing Tatum. I liked the fact that he was in this movie. Yeah. And I thought he. Oh, was he was funny. funny. I like Channing Tatum a lot. Yeah. Um, Ryan Reynolds did not need to be there. Yeah. I know it probably made a lot of people very happy. I get easily annoyed by Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Channing free guy. Tatum. Yeah. Yes. Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds? No. Boo. <laughs> Sandra Bullock. Sure. Okay. The thing about this this movie is in the trailer they have Sandra Bullock in the trailer really? like throughout, and I'm like, that's like a reveal at the end yeah. that's so good. In my like, I kind of like that reveal. And yeah. Now yeah, it's just I have a, a potential plot hole. <laughs> really for this for, for this movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Here, here's what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, you would think the passengers would notice what's happening for the duration that the passengers were on it, which was like the first half. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
And then they're like, oh, I bought all the tickets, so that's why no passengers are here. <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't yeah. explain why there's no employees. Right. Yeah, true. Who's driving true. the train? <laughs> well, then once he got up there, there's nobody there, right? right. Who's driving the train? Exactly. Who's Maybe that's the the future technology of bullet train is, you know, you don't need <laughs> yeah. pilots. I'm sure that's or... a, it's a great <laughs> idea to have no person driving a train that goes 200 <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> That's why they have all those controls there for the yeah. nobody that That's drives. why they had the, the book for yeah. nobody. Because <laughs> nobody drives it. Um, have you ever been on, like, a, a bullet train? No, I don't think so. I've been on something similar. It was a really, really fast train in Sweden that goes across, Yeah, like, from Gothenburg yeah, to Stockholm. I've been to, like, I've been on trains that went from, I went from one that went to, like, Paris to Barcelona, and it was like an over, but I don't think that was a bullet train. Yeah, I don't this one was like a think special, on... really, really fast train. Yeah, like it went that's... across the entire country of Sweden in four hours. Jesus, that's really crazy. Speaking of, I leave for a week in a week, and would love some tips for any Swedish listeners listening. I want to know what to do. There. Are you going to? Where are you um, going? I'm going to Stockholm, and then yeah, yeah I'm pretty Stockholm. excited. Um, it's a very incredibly confusing city to navigate. That's great. It's I rented it's a like bike. A bunch of like islands and stuff. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, it's it's cool. There's a lot of cool stuff to see, like some castles yeah. and stuff. I'm kind of mostly it, over this whole trip. I'm going to Stockholm, Oslo, Copenhagen, Hagen, however, you, and then uh, oh, this is even worse, uh, Reykjavik. That's, that's Reykjavik, how you pronounce yeah, it. Nice Reyk- Reykjavik. Reykjavik, yeah. I'm most excited for Reykjavik. Um, yeah, people, I, everyone I've heard of who's been to Iceland loved it. I know. It seems so cool. Anyway, um, bullet train. This made me want to go to Japan. I will say that. Yeah. Um, love. I, mean, I, I want to go to Japan sometime, too. We got to go yeah. there and record a podcast. We should, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On a bullet train. Yeah. And, yeah. I think this is as far as we can go with this film. This is yeah, the this last, is the stop, last stop, stop on this yeah, train. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we both went right there. <laughs> this is the furthest stop on this train. Can, can you, you imagine do, this, uh, like this a on voice? the CTA? Yeah, I was about to say, can you do, like, <laughs> do a CTA voice? Um, this is Southport. Doors open on the right at Southport. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Just, to, just for accuracy's sake, you are correct. Karsten was the doors right. do the open, doors on, do the open right on the right at Southport. at Southport. Classic brown line. Yeah, they open on um, the left at Belmont and Fullerton. Yes, where you can transfer to the red line. Yep. Um, what is your least favorite line in Chicago? Uh, Jeff? the blue line. Yeah, the yeah. blue line's awful. The blue the cars line are really sucks. old. Just, it just everything sucks. It's the dirtiest one. Piece of shit line. Brown line's the best line. Easily the best one. Um. Yeah, I, I think I have the exact same rating as you. Um, let's see. Let's get into questions. Um, oh, what would you give this film? What was the What are we feeling for a rating here? I give this film three train cars out of five train cars. That <laughs> that's my. I'll, I give this the third stop out of the five stops on the uh, line on tra- the uh, rail it, on the, yeah. the bullet rail bullet ramp. Yeah. I give this three bullets out of five. Let's say that. Um, nice. Three bullets out of trains. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that's Bullet Train. And you that's can Bullet catch Train. It in theaters. I don't know if it's doing that well. I feel which like is it surprised has to, me. though. It's Brad Pitt. I know. Wait, let me just. I just want to see. Because I, I thought, like, it's first day. Oh, no, it's doing well. Never yeah, mind. it was like. Uh, it's to. doing very well. Um. Let's see. Questions. These come from the CarsCast subreddit, um, and we're going to answer them. This first one uh, comes from S. Stolens, and it's a question for Karsten. How is climbing going? Like, what grades are you sending, and what type of climbing have you done, slash are, are you interested in? Um, climbing's going well. I My fingers hurt, and I haven't been able to do it for the last few days, which is probably good. Um because I think they tell you not to do it that often because of this reason. Um, but the highest grade I've sent was a V5. Mm, and that's it impressive. Was like, 
this is one of the the ones where you have to jump to get it and uh i was very proud of myself did you have a video yeah. of that one i do i do I, I forget if i posted it but I um i don't think i saw that one yeah oh yeah i'm very very proud of that one but yeah i really have like only legit. yeah it's well that's the thing is i can't do any of the other v5s but this one i was like i'm gonna count it um i haven't done any of the rope stuff uh i need to get certified and i'm also too scared even though they say all the injuries happen during bouldering which is the one right. that i'm doing but it's really fun it's like my new favorite thing and yeah this next one comes from uh llama lloyd jordy and it's hey carson and jeff what are your favorite ice cream bars um mm -hmm. yeah well everyone <laughs> uh knows that the choco taco has been discontinued that was a big story in the u.s get into it yeah that's <laughs> and that was a classic childhood staple <laughs> mm -hmm. it's just like a Ch drumstick if the ratio of ice cream and cone was all messed up and also it was harder <laughs> to eat and it melted in your hand easier yes so it's really just not it was a terrible functional. yeah it's cool looking and the, the name yeah. is great choco Taco. amazing concept like yeah execution could be improved could be better um but i like oreo ice cream sandwiches i like the mm -hmm. classic ice cream sandwiches as well yeah. m&m cookie ice cream sandwiches yeah those are good yeah i love the ones with cookies on them like chocolate chips or yeah. m&ms those ice cream like i love those and the the traditional ice cream sandwich i like it it's great. I'll never turn one down, but it does get, it always gets your fingers kind of messy. Like the chocolate always like gets sticky on your fingers. And... Yeah. Yeah. Any, How... any specific time that happened? <laughs> no, no, there's no, no interesting story to back up that one. <laughs> but How do you feel about the Choco Burrito, Jeff? Do you think they should roll that out? What? Is that a real like... product? No, but you know they got rid of the choco taco. Yeah, well that would now... make no sense. How would that work? It would be like a, a like a a flimsy fudge thing wrapped around ice cream and like chocolate chips. Let's throw some M and M's in there. And it instead of just being called choco burrito, it would be called burrito because because burr. <laughs> You know, now, now you're on. I wasn't now, convinced but... <laughs> after hearing the name. We can figure it out from yeah. there, but let's start with the title. Yeah. I think we can make it happen. Um, oh, I just learned. Well, I didn't just learn, but I forgot and then re-remembered that we yeah. sell a shirt. We do. Yeah, you texted me this, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> we never advertise that this is. We exists. never advertise this shirt. That's the thing. I don't know how many people have bought this shirt. Yeah. It's the one I didn't order a test of, so I don't actually know how this shirt comes so out. So someone but... told me they ordered it, and they like it. They did? Okay. Well, So I hopefully to... it's good. Y yeah. we have a... it at your own peril. We have never seen it. <laughs> yeah. Go to teespring.com slash – well, it's not actually an easy URL. We'll put Wait. it in the description for this episode. If you want yeah. a Carscast shirt, I, I will be buying one. Yeah. Go to the Carson Runquist Teespring. I'll be paying just as much as all of you for it. It looks actually like a pretty good shirt. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> shirt plug ra randomly like months after it <laughs> came out. Um, let's see. This one, speaking of, uh, this is a question from Scary Cave Sounds, and it's love, love, love you guys. Wish Spotify had written reviews. I was wondering if we'll ever get a restock on the Karskast baseball hats. Now, as of now, no. But through this merch site, I think you can make baseball hats. Yeah, we might I've be a, made one might in be the a past. different one. Yeah, it's going to be a different kind. Yeah, because the thing about this one, it's like a nice embroidered one. Um, mm -hmm. We bought fifty of them in our initial order, but it was yep. through a uh, like merchandise company my, uh, that my brother knows, the guy who runs it. Yeah, and we pretty much just ordered the hats, and then I got a giant box shipped to me of hats. Yeah, and then I had to individually ship them all out to anyone who ordered them yeah and that was a nightmare <laughs> making merch is like one of the worst so, things yeah so we've decided in the future to do like with this shirt where we just do it through kind of one of these automated yeah. companies and we just slap our our logo on it but we're gonna make sure they're like good products like you you know 
Yeah. Well, but as just for ease I, of use, I don't want to yeah. ship more shirts to Norway. I have made baseball caps through this site in the past. I don't know if any of you ordered the Karsten hat, which is the black one with the little scribble on it. It it like it's the only time I've worn my own merch regularly. <laughs> yeah, I've seen you wear it. It'd be weird to do it otherwise. But this hat, well, I mean, I like, wear these this hats all the time. are so That's not good. Weird, right? You do. It's not weird. No, 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 no. I you're mean, promoting what the you brand. Just said, yeah, based on what you just said, it sounds like you thought. Well, that's it, different you think because it's weird. You, your name's not Karsten. But if I walked around with a shirt with my face on it, that would no, be. No, that'd be funny. That'd be funny. <laughs> I would do that. If we make a Jeff shirt, I'll wear it. You're wearing it all, all the time. All the time, yeah. yeah. My mom ordered a, an old mug. It was like the first merch roll that I ever did with my face on it. And sometimes I drink out of the mug. Oh, yeah. I yeah. made you my have dad Jeff- two mugs with my face on i drink out of them all yeah. the time they're great mugs <laughs> um and uh let's see maybe one more this one uh this one comes uh from icy tooth 9527 and it's what is the biggest movie jump scare experience for you guys um biggest gosh, movie jump scare it's hard to think of the biggest uh <laughs> yeah I, they I all know, kind of feel the same <laughs> yeah i mean every jump scare is just a jump scare now it's just yeah the biggest jump scare i've ever had was not a film oh it was the first time i ever tried on a vr headset <laughs> yes and i played those are like scary the, like it was the playstation vr i was at someone's apartment after some party or something yeah and he puts me right in i put the headset on he puts me right into this clown roller coaster <laughs> <laughs> like demonic clown roller coaster game where you're on yeah. this roller coaster and these clowns pop out and start like trying to attack you yeah it's yeah. uh that's terrifying i honestly do think maybe my most memorable one was also through the vr set those things are terrifying mm-hmm. um i'm not gonna say this is next week's movie but i think eventually we should talk about this documentary on hbo max called we met in virtual yeah, reality i have that on my watch list I absolutely okay, I assumed... want to see that. We could now. Was... We'll we'll have to to see if it's gonna be next week. We'll definitely do it in the next few episodes. We'll do it in the next few. Yeah, not maybe not next week. Um, for reasons. <laughs> for reasons uh, that we both yeah. are aware of. <laughs> yeah, we're both. <laughs> but um, that does it for questions. Um, yeah, you guys should uh always open for more questions on yeah. the, the and, subreddit you know, so every now and then we pop into like our discord or subreddit the discord yeah i haven't popped into the subreddit recently but i popped into the discord yesterday for a few minutes you know oh yeah chatting up chatting around got to get back in there oh i if you haven't popped in the discord jeff or not discord reddit uh i'm going to say this for user hamdip05 they posted in here 2 days ago uh visited UCF and had to get the Citronaut shirt and so someone bought this UCF Knights oh, shirt yes. with the Citronaut on it because of you. And Amazing. That's pretty special. Okay, um, I, I do have to, to check that out <laughs> after this podcast. <laughs> but next up is the wrap-up um, where we announce next week's movie, which, which will we not be— Which we did not do. We did not—well, I—there's two—well, actually, there's one option. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, there's this movie out called Not Okay— that looks not okay. amazing, <laughs> but uh, it, it's a, it's an, the synopsis is an ambitious young woman desperate for followers and fame fakes a trip to Paris to up her social media presence. When a terrifying incident takes place in the real world and becomes part of her imaginary trip, her white lie becomes a moral quan- quandary that offers her all the attention she's wanted. Um, Interesting. It's getting a lot of buzz. Yeah, I thought you know people might want us to talk about yeah. this one. That's a, yeah, that's fair. We'll but we'll, we we'll, we'll feel it out. On it. Yeah, you know, we'll we'll see where we're at. We'll put let us know what you guys want us to yeah. talk about. And what's, don't say SpongeBob. What's hot? Right that's going to be yeah. our two hundredth episode. Yeah, if we remember. I would push bodies, 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 but I don't think that's available where Jeff is quite yet. Yep. Um. Anyway, we'll so we'll get back to you on that. Uh. <laughs> This next part is uh, we like to read a review because we like to hear what you guys have to say about the podcast um, most of the time. If, if it's mean, we don't want to know. Yeah. Uh, but this one, Jesus. Okay. I, I have not read this review before, so this 
is a this one comes from I'm a dirty urine drinker from Great Britain. Subject line: This is a podcast. Five stars. Um. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I just need to glance at this first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I want to make sure. The name, you just kind of yeah. Want to proofread. <laughs> Let me just think this one through. Five stars, and it reads, I write this review with the sole intention of it getting read out on the pod. There you go. But that being said, I am a day oneer who has never missed an episode and never not enjoyed it. If they discuss a film which you haven't seen, you will have no idea of the plot or what actually happens, but that's isn't that isn't why you listen. You listen for the witty banter, incredibly good looks, and the red hot political takes. <laughs> <laughs> Also, Jeff stinks of somebody who wears socks with sandals. Uh, Murphy. Now, I do. <laughs> my brother is much more of that vibe than me with the socks. I actually don't this is ever wear socks. That I knew this about you, which is insane. Yeah, I mean, I um, have like shoes that are designed to be worn without socks. Mm-hmm. It's um, like the bird dogs of shoes. Yeah, um, the bird dogs of shoes. It's like Nike Flyknit stuff where they have like tons of holes and they're very light. Yeah, I know the shoes. They look really comfortable, those shoes. They're so comfortable. Uh, That's why it's like all I wear. Yeah. Walked hundreds of miles in different countries so, with them. False read from Murphy. Yeah, false read. Um, Everything else was accurate, though. Yeah. Thank you, Murphy, for a very but The heartfelt... thing is, right when you said that, I looked at my own image on the monitor, and I'm like, if I saw that guy, I would think he probably does wear socks with sandals. <laughs> You do have the look of somebody that yeah. would wear socks with sandals. Yeah. So it's like um, a little bit disheveled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and lastly, we want to thank the lovely patrons over at patreon.com slash carscast. If you are looking to support the podcast, the best place to go to do so is at the Patreon, patreon.com slash carscast. Or my personal a- Venmo if you don't want yes. to cut Carson out of the equation. <laughs> <laughs> no perks besides Jeff. No perks um, besides our little secret. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you know how you have to write a Venmo caption yeah. with everything? They're just like little secrets. Yeah, it's just the emoji of the like shush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you want to help old Carsto as well, you should go to the patreon.com slash Carscast where you can get exclusive access to bonus episodes, Q&As, shout outs at the end of every episode, which we're about to do. In monthly Zoom hangouts, uh, where you get to talk to me and more importantly Jeff. Not about... more importantly at all. <laughs> Arguably, ask him directly less importantly how he feels about the season of sports this yeah. season. Um, so thank you, Alex Thomas, season. Anson Contreras, Belly, Big Beard Pirate, Boinks, Camilla Coop, David Borslow, David Sir, Eden, Finn Richardson, Goodnight Tail, Grant Gow, Jacob Meyer, The, John Van Hout, Jordan Peel directing a rom-com, jo- Joshua Hughes, KDT, Let's Change the Google Search Results for PTA, Leah Butriago, Ramirez, Tamayo, Levin, thank you for talking about therapy, Liv Rob, Luke Warren, Maddie Robertson, Martin Deff, Mary Lee Borslow, Meridian, Monroe Page, Noah Wooten, Owen Felton, Queen of Staten Island, Raka Cooney, Riley Oss, Ryan M, Sean Kenny presents Cars 10, The Run Quest, Stella Perry, Super Kelly, Fragilistic XBL, Adosha Smitty, Werbin, Jaggerman, Jensen, Tyler, Taylor, Smiley Face, The Raccoon, but the raccoon from Airbud 7th Inning, Fetch, Vagrod Strom, Wes Kinley, Wiley Todd, Yusef A, and Zoe Hernandez, Mc McDonald. McDonald. Boom. Yep. That was, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to try a like, quick new ending segment here. Oh, uh, here we go. This is for people who have made it this far. It's kind of a mm-hmm. test to see. Um, yeah. I want to know. Which nickname for Karsten you like better? Karsty or Karsto? Karsto's I personally because I'm a big fan both. of Karsto. Karsto? Karsto's, Karsto? I've had so many nicknames throughout my life and I've never heard Karsto before, which is surprising and yeah. I really like it. It's really funny. It's pretty good. That's the one <laughs> I prefer. I just yeah. want to see what everyone else thinks. Yeah, let's feel I use that one out. Um Well thanks guys. And thanks, Jeff. And, and thank you, Karsten. Or should I say Karsto? Yeah, Jeff O. That does Anything really else to say? Uh, catch you on the flip side. Flip side. Flip side.